High above the glass towers of Caracas sits the Patari neighborhood. This is one of the poorest communities in Venezuela. But for volunteer workers like Ingrid Sanchez, it's a hopeful place. Her rounds often take her to medical centers where patients receive free and comprehensive care, services that would otherwise be out of reach. And for Ingrid, it's all down to one man. The people here in Patari have a debt to Chavez because we couldn't have achieved all that we have without him. I'm worried about the future because we still have so much to do. Because of Chavez's death, we realize that we have to keep fighting more than before. And it's social projects like housing, supermarkets and free education, mostly paid for with oil revenues, that have been the signature of Chavez's socialist revolution. In a Patari garment factory, Maria Cruz Requina is thankful for the opportunities she's been given. This textile factory has brought us opportunities as workers. The government gave us the tools to make a living, and they came up with the concept for this place. The people here woke up when the revolution came. Before Chavez, all the social programs were far away from us. There's no question then that neighborhoods like this have ascended its people's lives improved beyond measure by social programs championed by Hugo Chavez. But Venezuela's economy is in crisis. The currency was recently devalued and the private sector are being driven away by government policy. So the very social programs these neighborhoods need so badly may now be in danger, especially without Chavez. An economist, Emeterio Gomez, says under Chavez, the country's oil profits have been squandered. The government is not orientated to create a solid economy, a strong economy. This is not uh, the objective. The, what they want is to destroy the private uh, economy and to build the communal economy. For the people in Patari then, there's a lot at stake in April's election. Both candidates have promised to continue funding social programs, but the economic reality might mean cuts, and that would make life here even harder. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Caracas.